Right, we're here with Paco and Letitia, the director and star of Rec 3 Genesis. Uh, it's the third film in the series, Paco. Um, the first two you uh, directed with one, and this is your first one alone, and you take the film in a slightly different direction. You go a bit more for comedy this time. Yeah, in, in, in fact, I think it's a romantic uh, horror gore comedy. I don't know, it's a, <laughs> it's a mix of, very different, of many different things, and I think it's a uh, it's well it's true that it's very different but uh, uh, it's good it's different right because yeah. to watch the same movie all over again it's not like it's it not would, fun yeah it would be a pity that it was exactly the same yeah yeah because yeah, I mean the first two were very hardcore and intense and very scary and this one's scary as well but there's a lot more humour in it yeah humour and, and, and maybe Daylight. Yeah, there's daylight <laughs> and there is romance involved, no? I think it's kind of a fable of uh, a princess and a knight in a shining armor and uh, and I don't want to spoil the, the, the film for, for for your audience but but I think it's refreshing and I hope unexpected and surprising in a in a nice way. Mm. Now, for those who haven't seen it yet, can you just give us a little bit of a setup? It, it takes place about the same time as the yeah. first film. Yeah, no, the, in, in fact, the three films take place in the same time frame, yeah. in, within uh, 24, 30 something hours, uh, because that's the day the apocalypse is happening. So. Uh, we, we we could have done something earlier, but not later because not it's it's going to be nothing left after <laughs> the zombies takes over. <laughs> and Letitia, you play a bride. It's your wedding day in the movie. Yes. But of course, you uh, spend a lot of the film not looking very bride-like. You're covered in blood. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not gonna let the zombies uh... ruin your day. Ruin my day. I was looking for the word in my mind, Ruin. in English. <laughs> yes, because, you know, it's supposed to be the happiest day of my life. And these zombies are not... I'm not going to ruin, ruin it. They're not invited at your wedding, you mean? <laughs> no. Right. And you deal with some of them with a chainsaw. Sorry? You attack them with a chainsaw. Yes, because they attacked me. I mean, it's fair. Difference. Yes. Yeah. Was that fun? Was it fun chopping people up with a chainsaw? Hyper fun. Like... It was like playing, you know, when you're a child and you play. Mm -hmm. It was playing games. And, um, and also I think that you relieve a lot of stress with the chenzo. I mean, don't take... People watching this shouldn't take this seriously because, you know... It's only maybe. Now, uh, yeah. <laughs> Weird things are happening, so I don't want to be like... Um, yeah, you don't want to... Get, get wrong ideas uh, yes, inside the uh, exactly, infants. Uh, yes, or not infants. I mean, yeah. Um, but yes, it was a lot of fun, and I was. It was sad that it just lasted. My action scenes actually are like three days of shooting. You're always complaining about that. Yeah. But <laughs> but, but I, I yes. think it was enough. No, you no. wanted more. Yes. What can we do? Another, let's shoot another <laughs> film. What, what can we do? Uh, yeah, shoot another film with more action. We can change the chainsaw for, for another... A, another weapon? Yes. What weapon? I don't know. I have to think about it. Okay. So you want to be an action film star? Yes. You know they're doing a female version of The Expendables. Yes. Actually, today <laughs> a journalist said to me that I, it would be nice <laughs> that I was in The Expendable 3. Yes. With my wedding dress. That would be really cool. And your chainsaw. Yes, I could be kicking ass, Bruce Willis ass, and. <laughs> ¿Qué más sale? Uh, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester no, Stallone. But I, I think it's going to be like Charlie's Angels, something like that, but. No, Charlie's Angels, no. No, Not but, no, 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 but, you know, the hard way. Okay, the hard way, yes. <laughs> with katanas and. Yeah. Yes, with Uma Thurman. Yeah, yeah you can it use It could be Uma Thurman mm -hmm. in Kill Bill and myself, for example. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> Me too. And Charlize Theron? Yes, she's nice. Yes. And Mila Jovovich, no? Mila jo Jovovich. Yes. Good cast. So, Paco, the, um, I believe there's a fourth film in development, a fourth rec, uh, but Juan's doing that by himself. 
Yeah, so you did the first two together and now you've done one and now he's doing one. Yeah, we, we, we kind of split our, our task because once we knew uh, there one, the, the producers wanted to, to make two more sequels, we decided that in, uh, on one hand we didn't want to lose control over the films, but we didn't want to spend like four more years of our lives devoted to, to, to the same film. So uh, we decided it was a good idea splitting tasks so each of us direct one film and produce the film of the other one. So, okay. so th that way we, we both are involved in the process, but uh, we, we have time, spare time to do some more personal projects aside. So can you tell us a little bit about where Rec 4 is going to go? Well, I could... It's going to be with Clara as a zombie. Yeah, I hope right? so. <laughs> but, but, Sorry. But, but I think, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to get in trouble with Jauma because he's really, he has really bad temper. And, I, <laughs> and, and if I spoil it or say something, I, I, I don't want to get in, in trouble. It's going to be the last one. Uh, and, and, and I'm sure it's going to be a great film because it's in very good hands. And you're producing yeah. Have you, are you involved in writing at all? No, not Just at all. Producing. No, I, 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 I haven't read the script. So I'm a very comfortable producer. I'll, I'll leave them all creative control. Yeah, I just want to get paid. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for the both of you? What films are you working on next? Rep 4. No, I'm kidding. Um, I just finished a TV show in Spain. And I have uh, to release a film... Spanish film called The Last Days that takes place in a post-apocalyptic uh, Barcelona, mm -hmm. which is nice because I've never seen Barcelona destroyed and I want to see it because it's my city and I'm glad that a post-apocalyptic movie is taking place in my city. And I'm when I come back to Spain, I will start the process of editing my third short film. So you're directing, writing and directing? Yes. Nice. Paco? Well, uh, I'm finishing a comic book now because uh, um, I've started late, uh, lately to work in graphic novels because uh, when we released the Rec 3, we released at the same time a, a graphic novel based on the universe of Rec. And I got, and I was, uh, because I've been a comic book fan all my life. So it was very exciting to be part of the of the process, and now I'm uh, I've written and we are finishing. I'm going to publish this October a new comic book. So I now I'm in the graphic novel world. I, I love it. Nice. Any, it's, any... It's, it's, it's much nicer than film. So is this it for film? You're going to now move into graphic novels? No, or no, films no. It's uh, it's it's just what I'm doing right yeah. now. I, I you know I. Of course, I will make more films. I hope so, but but uh, but now I'm f more focused on, on these graphic novel things. Oh, good luck with that. I hope it goes well. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you.